today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1733, August II, also known as the Strong, who was the King of Poland, dies at 62. He had 355 children. Oh my. In 1788, the first U.S. steamboat patent is issued. In 1789, Chinese troops are driven out of Vietnam. In 1790, the first session of the Supreme Court of the United States was held in New York City. In 1793, France declares war on England and the Netherlands. In 1799, royal assent is given to change the name of St. John's Island to Prince Edward Island in Canada. In 1800, yellow fever infects Spain. In 1801, the bubonic plague is detected in the Ottoman Empire and Egypt. In 1803, yellow fever hits the United States. In 1809, Dutch King Louis Napoleon accepts the metric system for his country. And we still haven't in the United States. In 1810, the American Insurance Company of Philadelphia becomes the first insurance company managed by African Americans. Also in 1810, Seville, Spain surrenders to the French. In 1813, the plague hits Malta, eventually killing 4,500 people. In Romania, it kills 60,000. In 1814, Lord Byron's The Corsair sells 10,000 copies on this first day of publication. In 1816, the cholera pandemic is detected in Asia and Europe. It kills 100,000 plus people. In 1840, the first U.S. College of Dentistry is chartered in Baltimore, Maryland. In 1851, Mary Shelley dies of a brain tumor today at just 53 years old. She wrote Frankenstein. In 1856, Auburn University is chartered as the East Alabama Male College. In 1861, Texas votes to secede from the Union. In 1862, Julia Howe publishes Battle Hymn of the Republic. In 1865, J.S. Rock, the first black lawyer to practice in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, is admitted to the bar. In 1870 is the founding of the Quebec Provincial Police Force. In 1871, Jefferson Long of Georgia is the first African American to make an official speech in the U.S. House of Representatives. In 1880, the first edition of the theatrical newspaper, The Stage, is published. In 1884, the first volume of the Oxford English Dictionary, A through Ant, is published in London. The tenth and final volume is published 44 years later. And nowadays, we don't even use it. In 1887, Harvard Wilcox of Kansas subdivides 120 acres he owns in Southern California and starts selling it off as a real estate development. It later becomes what we know as Hollywood. In 1892, Mrs. William Astor invites 400 guests to a grand ball at her mansion, thus beginning the use of 400 to describe the socially elite. In 1893, Thomas Edison completes the world's first movie studio in West Orange, New Jersey. In 1896, Giacomo Puccini premieres his immensely popular opera La Boheme at the Atro Reggio in Turin, Italy. In 1897, Shinhan Bank, the oldest bank in South Korea, opens in Seoul. In 1898, the first auto insurance policy in the U.S. is issued by Travelers Insurance Company. In 1901, the King of Hollywood, Clark Gable, was born in Cadiz, Ohio. In 1902, American writer Langston Hughes was born. Also on this day, China's Empress forbids binding women's feet. In 1906, the first federal penitentiary building is completed in Leavenworth, Kansas. In 1914, the New York Giants and Chicago White Sox play an exhibition baseball game in Egypt. In 1915, Stanley Matthews is the first British soccer player to be knighted. In 1920, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police form after the Royal Northwest Mounted Police merge with the Dominion Police. Also in 1920, the first commercial armored car is introduced in St. Paul, Minnesota. In 1926, land at Broadway and Wall Street in New York City sold at a record $7 per square inch. In 1929, weightlifter Charles Rigolet performs a clean and jerk of 402 and a half pounds, the first time over 400 pounds has been lifted this way. In 1931, Russian politician Boris Yeltsin is born. In 1946, Norwegian diplomat Trygve Lie 
was elected the first Secretary General of the United Nations. In 1948, Rick James, the king of punk funk, is born. He is best known for his hit Super Freak. In 1949, RCA releases the first single 45 RPM record ever. In 1950, the USSR demands condemnation of Japanese Emperor Hirohito for war crimes. In 1951, a state record minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 46 degrees Celsius is recorded in Gavilan, New Mexico. Also in 1951, TV audiences saw the first ever broadcast of an atomic explosion. In 1953, General Electric Theater premieres on CBS TV. Also on this day, You Are There with Walter Cronkite premieres on CBS television. In 1954, TV soap opera The Secret Storm premieres on CBS. It ran for 20 years. In 1957, P.H. Young becomes the first black pilot on a U.S. scheduled passenger airline. In 1958, males in Switzerland vote against voting rights for women. In 1959, Texas Instruments requests a patent for an integrated circuit. In 1960, four African Americans begin a successful sit-in protesting a segregated lunch counter at a Woolworths in Greensboro, North Carolina. In 1961, a full-scale test of a U.S. Minuteman ICBM is successful. In 1963, at age 17, Neil Young performs his first professional concert at a Winnipeg Country Club. In 1964, The Beatles' I Want to Hold Your Hand hits number one and stays for seven weeks. Also in 1964, Indiana Governor Matthew Walsh tries to ban the song Louie Louie for obscenity. In 1965, Martin Luther King Jr. and 700 demonstrators are arrested in Selma, Alabama. Also in 1965, a 26-year-old Peter Jennings becomes anchor of ABC's Nightly News. In 1966, famous comic film star Buster Keaton dies at age 69. In 1968, the very famous photograph of a Saigon Vietnam police chief executing a Viet Cong officer with a pistol shot to the head is taken today. It becomes the symbol of the anti-war effort. On that same day, former Vice President Richard Nixon announces his candidacy for president. Also on this day, Vince Lombardi resigns as coach of the Green Bay Packers. A sad day for Packer fans. In 1969, the Doors lead singer Jim Morrison is arrested for exposing himself in a concert. In 1970, a stalled commuter train is hit by an express train in Argentina. 139 people die. In 1972, the first scientific handheld calculator, Hewlett Packard's HP 35, is introduced. It had a price of $395. Probably get it for less than 10 bucks nowadays. In 1974, the TV show Good Times premieres on CBS TV. It is a spinoff from Maude. Also in 1974, Linda Ann Healy, the first Ted Bundy murder victim, is abducted in Seattle. In 1975, Otis Francis Tabler is the first open homosexual to get security clearance to work for the U.S. Defense Department. In 1976, the Rich Man, Poor Man miniseries premieres on ABC TV. Also that year, Sonny and Cher resume their popular variety TV show despite having just divorced in real life. In 1977, a heavy blizzard in New England claims 100 lives. In 1978, director Roman Polanski skips bail and flees to France after pleading guilty to charges of engaging in sex with a 13-year-old girl. Also in 1978, Harriet Tubman becomes the first black woman honored on a U.S. postage stamp. In 1979, the spacecraft Voyager 1 photographed Jupiter from a distance of 20.3 million miles. Also in 1979, the Ayatollah Khomeini returns to Iran after 15 years in exile. Again, in 1979, newspaper heiress Patty Hearst leaves federal prison when her sentence for bank robbery is commuted by President Jimmy Carter. In 1980, the soap opera Love of Life ends its 28-year run. In 1982, Late Night with David Letterman makes its debut on NBC TV. In 1983, Italian bicycle manufacturer Tullio Campanello dies. In 1992, Russia is officially formed after the fall of the USSR. In 1994, born in Great Britain today is, wait for it, Harry Styles. 
In 2003, while returning to Earth, the U.S. Space Shuttle Columbia broke up during re-entry at about 40 miles or 60 kilometers over Texas, killing all seven crew members. In 2004, Janet Jackson suffers her widely publicized wardrobe malfunction during the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Or was it planned? In 2007, Adam Air Flight 574 disappears over Indonesia with 102 people on board. In 2009, Iceland swears in their first female prime minister. She is also the first openly gay head of state in the world. In 2012, at least 79 people were killed and more than 1,000 were injured after a football match in Port Said, Egypt. In 2013, former New York City Mayor Ed Koch dies at age 88. In 2018, the Indian government announces their plan to give 500 million people free health care. And in 2021, the number of COVID-19 vaccinations administered worldwide exceeds 100 million. You're still here? Why haven't you clicked on one of my other videos yet? They're right in front of you. There's no reason not to. They're really, really good videos. Check them out. Do it. Go ahead.